Hello and welcome to Gururo. In this video series, we will be covering the entire spectrum of scenario based questions around the important aspects of project and program management like scope, cost, estimations, stakeholder management, quality, team management and much more. So please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos. Let us understand what are scenario based questions and why they are so popular. Nowadays, there are no direct questions on offer in a management interview. Interviewer take the route of life scenarios or simulations which frequently occur in day to day job so that they can be certain that the interviewee is a fit for the position. By real-time questions, employer can judge the knowledge and work experience of the candidate more authentically. It also shows how spontaneous you are under pressure and whether he or she will be able to handle it on the job. While answering these questions, always remember the thumb rule. Offer multiple approaches, not just one. It will display your flexibility in approach and real work experience. In this session, we will be covering a scenario related to scope. Now let's see the scenario. Here is our scenario. Post UAT testing, customer shares a list of observations which consists of new changes marked as defects. The project is already struggling due to scope creep and reducing margins. It's a fixed price project. As a project manager, how do you deal with such cases? Always remember, don't jump directly to answer or to solution. Set up the context and groundwork. In this scenario, the very first element of the answer should be analysis. Let's start forming our answer. I will analyze along with the team the observations which are raised during the UAT testing. We will dig deeper to categorize them. Categorization buckets can be CR and defects. We will further categorize it into new development, reuse, configuration, design change, etc. Let's start detailing on our approach. Here is the first approach. In the first approach, I will stick to what has been signed in the scope. If the observations are defects, I shall consider them accordingly. If these are new changes, I shall call it out as change request and ask customer to follow the agreed change management process. I will also require internal stakeholder support in case of any escalations. After detailing the first approach, I shall process further saying, oh, there is another approach. It goes like this. The second approach shall depend on my relationship with the customer. If it is good, I will find ways to accommodate the same and leverage this favor in some other ways later. Different ways like work around or negotiate on providing basic functionality now and build on in the upcoming releases. I will ask the team to stretch for the completion or put additional resources. I will keep my manager updated on the strategic part. Then I shall take a pause and will say Oh, there is another approach which is coming at the top of my mind. Here it goes. In the third approach, if the customer is a large account or strategically very important to the company, we don't have any other option but to accommodate these changes. But then I shall ask the customer what is more important to him. Go live date or having all these changes. Is it possible to shift some of the features to another release? If we provide a basic version of the changes, will it work for them? And then make it more impactful by adding, for such customers, I will make sure to take the approval or sign off on a $0 CR. Or if that is not possible, I shall get the acknowledgement of the efforts involved for the additional changes asked. And now you can end your answer talking about these three approaches and wait for the interviewer. Now here is an assignment for the viewers. I'm giving you a scenario where 
you are the program manager of a project running on a scrum framework each sprint is for two weeks followed by a review with the customer during one of the sprints the product owner pushed a couple of changes citing critical business reasons how do you approach this scenario you can post your comments questions and answers on the link mentioned in the description so that we can answer them thank you do like and share the video to show your appreciation for the hard work involved in making these videos thank you